Welcome back to our series about LinuxMuster.net version 7. My name is Stefan and we are talking about preparation. So today we want to talk about everything you have to consider before you start installing LinuxMuster.net. So here again we have our simple network drawing of our school network and you can see we have several different networks like the school network, like wireless LAN, DMZ if you want, and the red one here, like the, your ISP router connection to the internet, the so-called uh, WAN interface. And this is the first thing you have to prepare or consider when you're installing Linux Muster. How many networks do I want or do I have in my school? A simple solution would be just having your ISP router connect to the internet. It's like a red, the WAN interface and your school network here, the green one. Maybe you have a third one if you want uh, to install or set up uh, wireless LAN 2. Then you have a third one or maybe even a fourth one or even more if you have like a telephony VoIP, voice of IP or something like this. So this is one thing we need to think about. Um, Linux Muster consists of two servers like here, the Linux Muster server and the firewall, which is OpenSense as default, but you can use any other firewall. You can see here in Linux Muster server, we have normally like one network interface, the uh, LAN interface, and the firewall has as many interfaces as many networks you have, like the LAN and the WAN, DMZ or wireless LAN. So this is the first one, first thing you have to consider. How many networks do I have in school? We will talk about that later. Next thing is like hardware requirements. What kind of hardware do I need for um, Linux Muster? So we start with the firewall, OpenSense. Um, you can check it on their website too. Um, it's recommended to have like a two cores um, CPU, uh, four gigabyte of RAM, and 20 gigabyte uh, best would be SSD and two to three network interfaces um, or four depending how many networks you have in your school. And for the Linux Muster server, this is like a minimum um, configuration, four cores, a gigabyte of RAM, 40 gigabyte for the operation system you want to, and 200 plus gigabyte for data. So especially the 200 um, gigabyte data depends a lot of yeah, many things like how many students do I have, how many, what kind of operation system I want to use in the client computers. Do I use Linux or do I use Windows or both? How many um, storage space do my students get, like 500 megabyte or one gigabyte or even more? This depends um, a lot how big this um, yeah hard disk will be on your server. Let's talk about the network again. Um, the default network in Linux Muster is 10.0.0.0.16. Um, that means a lot of IP addresses for your devices. It starts with yeah, 10.0.0.1 and the last one is 10.0.255.254. And so you mean you have a lot of IP addresses for all your computers, laptops and whatever you want to use. So this is just a default configuration. You can change it. You can um, adapt it to your... Um, yeah settings at school, what you want to have. Um, yeah, you can choose any submit you like, like 10, 10, 10, 0 slash 20 or 24. Um, you need to consider how many devices do I have in school? Do I want to put them all in one um, subnet or different subnets? It's all supportable Linux Muster. For example, when we have like this network, um, like 20 default, 24 subnet, then you have around 200 IP addresses. Um, it's a bit more, but some of our server and the HTTP range. So it's roughly 200 IP addresses you can use for your laptops, computers, and other devices. If you use like a slash 20 network, then you have like 4,000 IP addresses. So a lot more IP addresses. So it's up to you how you want to configure your network. If it is the first time you hear about different subnets, then I really recommend that you study more about this because it's very helpful um, how you set up your network in school. Okay. So other questions are, do you want to install like on bare metal, like on the computer itself, or do you want to virtualize everything? 
Um, and if I virtualize, what hypervisor do I use? Uh, VMware or Proxmox, XCPNG or KVM. So there are different, different options, many different options you can use to install Linux Muster. Maybe you have a server already in your school and a hypervisor, then use this. Or if you're just starting from scratch, um, you can yeah, choose what the best you like. Okay, these were some questions you should answer for yourself, like hardware requirements, how your network looks like, or um, how you want to install it. Um, in the next video, we will start installing linuxmuster.net at the firewall. So, hope to see you soon.